kinds of levers now levers are of three kinds remember the word flee f l e flee now in the first class lever in the first class lever fulcrum lies between load and effort in the first class lever fulcrum f f stands for fulcrum fulcrum lies between load and effort l l stands for load in the second class lever load lies between fulcrum and effort so in the second class lever in the second class load lies between the fulcrum and the effort and in the third class lever in the third class lever e e stands for effort effort lies between the fulcrum and effort sorry fulcrum and load in the third class lever effort lies between the fulcrum and the load first let us study the first class lever now in the first class lever fulcrum lies between the load and the effort now let us look into three cases where the fulcrum lies in between the load and the effort first case now let me take the lever Now, fulcrum lies between the load and the effort. Say here we have the load. Fulcrum is very close to the load. So this is the direction of the load, and this is the direction of the effort. second case this is the direction of the load 
fulcrum lies just in the middle this side and this side is same this is the direction of the effort the third case this is the direction of the load the fulcrum lies very close to the effort now all the three are first class lever because fulcrum lies between the load and the effort in all the three cases fulcrum lies between the load and the effort now fulcrum to load we call it load arm we will write load arm as la and effort arm as ea load arm is la effort arm is ea all distances should be measured from the fulcrum so fulcrum to load is load arm here fulcrum to effort is effort arm fulcrum to load is load arm fulcrum to effort is effort arm fulcrum to load is load arm and fulcrum to effort is effort arm here for the first case effort arm is greater than load arm in the second case effort arm is equal to load arm in the third case effort arm as you can see is less than load arm but all belongs to the first class lever all belongs to the first class lever because fulcrum lies between the load and the effort in the first case effort arm is greater than load arm in the second case effort arm is equal to load arm and in the third case effort arm is less than load arm now we know mechanical advantage is load by effort and that is equal to effort arm divided by load arm now here since effort arm is greater the numerator is greater than the denominator this fraction will be greater than 1 in this case mechanical advantage is equal to load by effort equal to effort arm by load arm here effort arm and load arm are equal so we can say it is equal to 1 third case mechanical advantage is load by effort equal to effort arm by load arm here effort arm is less than load arm so mechanical advantage is less than 1 very often you are asked what are the possible values of mechanical advantage for a first class lever the answer will be ma can be greater than 1 ama can be equal to 1 ama can be less than 1 now when ma is greater than 1 we have load by effort is greater than 1 therefore the load lifted is greater than your effort now what does this imply the load you can lift is greater than your effort 
So this type of machines where m a is greater than 1 is known as force multiplier machine. They are known as force multiplier machine. So when you have m a greater than 1, those type of machines are called force multiplier because the load lifted is greater than the effort. Let us take an example for this case. You have a tin where you have some canned food and the lid is so tight that you cannot open the lid. What you can do, you can take a spoon you can take a spoon and open the lid. Now, here this one acts as a fulcrum this lid is your load and this is your effort. You are putting the effort as the extreme end. You are taking the spoon and you are opening the lid. Here is the effort. This point is the fulcrum and the lid is your, this is your load. Now fulcrum to load is your load arm. And fulcrum to effort is your effort arm. So in this case, effort arm is greater than load arm. If effort arm is greater than load arm, then what can you have? MA greater than 1. So it is a force multiplier machine. It is a force multiplier machine. So what happened? You couldn't open the lid. Now what happens? This one was very tight. You couldn't open the lid. With the spoon now you can open it. It is a force multiplier machine. So ME greater than 1. ME greater than 1. This type of machines are force multiplier machine. Now, if MA is equal to 1, here the load lifted is equal to the effort. Now, where do we use it? If you go to a shop, okay, a physical balance, the fulcrum right in between. This is the scale pan. And this is your load. You want the correct weight to buy, isn't it? So load and effort. Load and effort. They are same because these two lengths are same. Effort now, this is the fulcrum. Fulcrum to load is your load arm. Fulcrum to effort is your effort arm. So here load which you are taking is equal to the effort. If you keep 2 kg weight over here, you are taking 2 kg. So this example is physical balance. Now, if M is less than 1, what are we doing? Here the load lifted is less than effort. That means we are losing our force. But if you imagine children, if you give a little bit of effort here, this full thing goes down like this. Here, the load which goes up, this is my load. This is my 
distance moved by load and the effort comes down over here this is my distance moved by effort you can see here distance moved by load is much more than the distance moved by effort if you give a little bit of push over here effort moves down a less distance so although we lose force what happens distance moved by load is greater than distance moved by effort now if you divide both the sides with t this is distance moved by load is greater than distance moved by effort therefore dl by t is greater than de by t so velocity of load is greater than velocity of effort so what can you conclude here if you if your effort moves down with a speed of 1 meter per second your load will move up with a greater speed so this type of machine this type of machine where vl is greater than ve these are known as speed multiplier machine these are known as speed multiplier machine although you are losing force but you are gaining speed we are gaining speed at the loss at the cost of our force we are lifting up less load but the load moves up a greater distance the load moves up a greater distance than the effort so cases where you need the load to move up with a greater speed you don't want to gain force but you want the load to move up faster you use this type of machines where ma is less than 1 and the velocity of load is greater than velocity of effort so that is a speed multiplier machine now here there are three first class levers scissors shears and pliers for all of them fulcrum is in the middle this is the load effort so all of them are this is the load all of them belong to first class lever this is a metal which has to be cut this is a metal which has to be cut with the help of a shears load and this is the effort now all the three have fulcrum lying between load and effort now what is the difference between them now in case of pliers and shears the effort arm effort arm is the distance from fulcrum to the effort effort arm is bigger fulcrum to load is your load arm so here effort arm is greater than load arm fulcrum to load is your load arm fulcrum to effort is your effort arm so for these two for pliers and shears we see effort arm is greater than load arm but for scissors this effort arm is less and load arm is bigger actually uh, the diagram is showing a little more but it is much more less for scissors we have for scissors we have effort arm less than load arm 
Now, what is the outcome of this? If effort arm is greater than load arm, then mechanical advantage comes out to be greater than 1. So, in this case, for both the cases, MA, which is effort arm by load arm, is greater than 1. So, for both these two cases, pliers and shears, MA is greater than 1. So, if MA is greater than 1, then L by E is greater than 1. So, from here you can say, L by E is greater than 1. Therefore, load is greater than effort. So, this type of machines, what are they called? They are called force multiplier machine. They are called force multiplier machine. So, pliers and shears, they are force multiplier. Now, why? Why are they force multipliers? Because shear is metal cutter. You have to cut a metal. You can't cut a metal with your hand. You need a force multiplier machine. And plier is used to cut wires. You cannot cut a wire with your hand. So, both of them help in multiplying your force. And that is done by having a greater effort arm. Effort arm is the distance from fulcrum to effort. Greater effort arm, MA greater than 1. So, they act as force multipliers. So, pliers and shears are force multiplier machine. But in scissors, you don't need to cut metal. You need the work to be done fast. So, here I don't need a force multiplier. So, here effort arm is taken as less. If effort arm is less than load arm, what can we say? If effort arm is less than load arm, MA is great, less than 1. So, MA is effort arm by load arm that is less than 1 and if it is less than 1 what happens here I told you that the effort moves a less distance and the load moves a greater distance so what happens we gain speed so scissors are actually speed multiplier scissors multiply our speed they are speed multiplier machine. With scissors you don't cut metal. You make your work faster. So let us look into the kinds of levers. Levers are of three kinds. They are three types of lever. Remember the word flea. F stands for first, first class, the fulcrum. F stands for fulcrum. Fulcrum lies in between. Second one, this is the first class. Second class, L lies in between the load. L is the load. F is the fulcrum. Load lies between the fulcrum and the effort. And what is the third class lever? Effort lies in between. Effort lies in between. Remember FLE. First class, second class, third class. Fulcrum in between. Load in between. Effort in between. Now here we are discussing only the first class lever. Now, first class lever can be of three types. If the fulcrum is close to the load, load arm is less, effort arm is more. If effort arm is more, then it mechanical advantage is greater than 1 because the numerator is more. So L by E is greater than 1. The load lifted is greater than your effort. So this type of machines are called force multiplier machines. Now if effort arm is equal to load arm, fulcrum right in between, MA becomes equal to 1. And here we have taken the example of a physical balance where the load which you want to pick up and the effort is equal. The third, the fulcrum moves towards the effort. Fulcrum moves towards the effort. So what happens? Effort arm is less. 
load arm is more. If effort arm is less, MA is less than 1. The numerator is less. It is less than 1. So what happens? Here, you gain speed. You lose force, but you gain speed. So when you gain speed, it becomes a speed multiplier machine. Here there are examples of scissors, shears and pliers. All of them belong to the first class of lever but with different functions. Pliers and shears have effort arm greater than load arm. Remember, always arms are measured from the fulcrum. Both of them have greater effort arm. So if they have a greater effort arm, ME is greater than 1. So both the pliers and the shears are force multiplier because here you have to cut metal and wires where you need strength. On the other hand, scissors. Although it belongs to the first class of lever, it has a different function. And how we do we change the function? We may take the effort arm less. If the effort arm is less, MA is less than 1. So this type of machine is a speed multiplier because in scissors, you don't have to cut metals or iron, but you have to make your work faster. So scissors is a speed multiplier machine, while pliers and shears are force multiplier.